Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Danny for Danny Tutorials and today I'm gonna show you how to make this Mickey clock. He's at the office, he's super tired, so it's a perfect video for Friday afternoon. And the clock is gonna work so you can really use it. Before we start the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button for notifications on the new contents. And we're going to start the, um, the desk with a 23 centimeters on 9 inches and a 12 and a half centimeters on 5 inches piece of foam board and we're gonna need two at the same size the only difference is that one's gonna have the hole in the middle for your clock and then we're gonna need another piece that's as long as the other ones 23 centimeters and 9 inches or 5 centimeters and two little ones for the sides of the table um, and then a set five centimeters or two inches and then two little ones for the drawers and that's it so I am going to start marking the two like I'm just marking a little bit cutting just a tiny bit to make my phone fold but not cut it off because we want to get him some space to put the seat and his legs and everything so you see I just made it a, a little tiny cut just just you know to to move that board and then the other one then has the hole in the middle we are going just to make planks like wood so you you mark I'm not measuring I was just making planks and then with any ball tool um, anything then you can just making indentations we are going to make the wood so you could just gonna make some like lines and some like straight ones some twisted ones some curved ones and the knots of the wood so we are making this because as soon as we put our gist pastel on top of it you're gonna see how cool it looks for now it doesn't look like anything so but Take your time and make those details because they come to life and it's really cool. So I'm going to go over the whole thing, making little knots of wood and little stripes. And now with the chalk pastel, I'm just going to go over with the really the chalk on the, the foam board. And I'm just going like covering the whole thing. As you can see, you start seeing it already. And then with the flush free brush, we're gonna just go over everything. And now you really can see all that um, drawing, then we put it into um, the board. I always, after I use chalk pastel, I use a hair dry. I spray hair dry on the phone, or I use um, any sealer you have, like acrylic um, water um, sealer that works just fine so you go the whole thing with a super fluffy brush because you don't want to scratch or make any um, cuts on your phone and we are going to do this process and every single piece of the table so the two big pieces the two side pieces and the top piece we're gonna follow the same process with the darker chalk pastel i'm just going between the planks then we draw and on the knots of the wood to give more 3g effect and even more a realistic look and with the brush again we're gonna go over everything You can take your time and put it more and more into you. you get the color of the wood you want. Um, always go with slow with the colors because it's easier to put more than to get anything out of here. So as you can see, if I'm not happy or I want to just give another layer, you just go over and edit a little bit more and you can do that with a little bit of green, a little bit of dark brown, you know, so you can make the color of the would be exactly like you want you can make it more red more brown whatever you is your favorite taste and we're gonna do that to the other sides too so the extra two little ones we are going to make drawers for his office desk so i am just going to measure three little uh, rectangles on that leaving a little border and we just gonna cut and we're gonna make those two pieces the same Use an exacto knife or um, 
something sharp because you want the edges to be like straight. So if your exacto knife is not sharp, it's gonna make kind of squish the phone instead of cutting and then with the little squares then you got out of that you're gonna make them a little smaller because you want a little wiggly room between the drawers and the inside part just to give more a 3d effect not that it's gonna open or anything but if you cut it a little bit it's gonna give more the effect and we need two pieces of this we're gonna paint that black and now I am just cutting on the back of the board, the one that is a little folded. We're going to cut a square so we can change the batteries of the clock or anything happens if we need to change. And then with the paper clip, I just cut a piece and I'm folding to make a little handle. Put a little hot glue and place on the handle. Now we next to that we are just going to put our drawers um, and then the little squares in the middle as well. And this again is the back part, the one that we fold it a little. The one is kind of like a C. And then you put the sides of the table and the top of the table and then you have your table uh -huh. and again I'm using the paper clip and then I just cutting pieces and just fold like a C and you can have all your little handles I like to poke a hole first um, to push that down because um, the foam boards sometimes when they are little pieces like that if you squish something in um, the paper comes out of the foam so I prefer just to make just poke a little hole with the toothpick or anything you have just to be sure that you're not getting them out or losing the shape now I am just marking the center of the other piece then I said that you needed to make a circle and I wanted to show you guys then I just use a pencil and just poke the hole it's nothing like big deal and now I got this um, clock set machine I guess for a long time sitting here and that's what made me want to do this and I'm just putting two pieces of phone on the sides for that to don't move around when we put it up and then we're gonna put all the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. And it's gonna work just like a clock. I will try to find a place and leave the links below so you guys can find this too to make yours. So we're gonna start with the clay now. I make a ball and I flatten out. We're going to make the little um, pillow for the seat. So I'm just um, going over on the sides to try to make a little bit look like flatter on the side, like a leather seat. And then I'm just going to use my ruler to make a line in each of the edges. I also have the link for the clay down below. I'm using air dry clay. So now we have the seat set aside. And we are making a little trash can. So just make a hole and then you just open one side and you have your trash can. Super simple. And I use the old pencil that my kids were like, you know, using and it was so tiny. You just put a little clay and eraser because of course you don't have any more. But you can make a little pencil or even get a new one and cut it shorter if you want. I made this little... Um, square and then I'm just making the details for the phone um, is an old phone you know has the wire and all that then my kids look to it and said but why is like this we forget then they don't really see you know cables and cords and things like that for phones but super um, office kind of look alike and after that when it's dry I made silver on the buttons the numbers and now I just roll over and gonna make the handset the is a handset oh, hand answering <laughs> and I made a little tray I actually used the phone board for the base um, just to dry faster um, and put it four sides for the papers I'm using a popsicle stick and I cut it four pieces long enough as the height I wanted the C to be 
and we're going to put the four seats over there tap on your table to see if it's going to stand and it's not you know moving around and then you cut four pieces little pieces the same size to put the details on the chair it's more like a stool right the chair um i don't think that office chair is too comfortable that's probably why he fell asleep because his back was hurting <laughs> but um it's pretty easy to make and you can make for little barbie dolls for kitchen and things like that and it's super cool i made a school for the barbies um this last weekend for my girls because they cannot go to school so they want her barbies to go to school so they asked me to make a Barbie school for them. So if you guys want to see, go to my Instagram. I will post the pictures for you guys to see it. And here we go. We have a little chair. I am just putting an extra piece of floor on, on the back because since this is a clock, it's going to move around, but Mickey needs to be sitting in the right place. So I just put the little, the same way that we made the, the desk, we just made a little floor and I made two or three, two teardrop shapes in yellow and put two little dots for the shoes and they gonna be like stepping on the sides of the chair the stool just like that it's a very easy way to make a mickey without worrying about the structure um so i'm gonna tr go through with you guys uh, step by step so you make a row um fold in half for legs and knee and you're just gonna place just like that you don't need to worry about holding the body the weight of your whole um model or you know because you're just gonna sit there and now i'm with the bread i just made a circle enough to make the the shorts um and now i'm gonna get all the excess on the top i prefer to put more clay than i need then less clay and then don't fit and i'm just gonna go over like i'm making a teardrop shape and getting the size i need his shorts to be and cut the excess off and you can cut it and pull it up as much as you think you need to um, make for him to be sitting there i made a snake and a flatten out just to make the bottom part of the shorts so you hide where the black clay is touching the shorts so it doesn't look like you just put two pieces together when you put something on top you don't see it anymore try to find to hide the indentation even if you need a little bit of water just make the clay you know get stuck together and we're gonna make the same thing to the other leg so now i'm making the teardrop of the black um skinnier than is the shorts because you putting is coming inside the shorts you know um and i'm just remember that i wanted his tail to dry so i just made a tiny snake in black and set apart and we're gonna make his hand so i made the same the arms of the same process of the legs but skinnier and then we made a teardrop shape cut the v for the thumb and uh, cut the other four uh three fingers uh, mickey just have four fingers so you just need to cut twice and um he is going to be holding that little uh, pencil um that was perfect size when i saw on the hand of my son and he got a little mad then i stole it but it was perfect as you can see i just put a little clay to pretend that it was a eraser because it was gone and then you're gonna um put his hand and fingers like he's holding to write so take your time and just try to make him pretend that he's holding that pencil up just like that and we're gonna set aside and now we're gonna make a little cough mug first before we make the other hand because he's gonna be holding the cough mug so i make a row just make it an indentation in the middle and you make a snake and just fold it down so you have your little mug and now we're going to make the second hand the second hand is holding the mug so um we're gonna cut the finger for the, th the thumb up and then the other 
three little fingers. I'm cutting it then in the middle, smaller than the other side because it's like he's holding the mug so you will not see it because you have your hands inside the little, you know, um, curve of the mug, the holder. Um, so cutting off is better than try to hide that. And then you just put the thumb on top of it. And we're gonna set aside. I just be sure that all my marks for the fingers are not disappearing once I put it in place. Now we're gonna set his arms up. I put him sitting right there, and then we're going to start placing the arms in place because it's easier to um, put them together. Anything you're making already in place, then they're gonna stay. And I decided to put a little paper there. I just put a to-do list. I would change that later, but just because he's holding a pencil, they're supposed to be writing something, right? Um, and then I'm just being sure that I have their elbows twisted a little bit, put a little white for the glove, like we did to the other side, and then place the mug in the hand. Now I am covering a 40 millimeters um, phone ball um, with black, I'm trying to leave the excess in one side because we need to make his face. Just pull the excess of the clay to the top of the ball and cover the whole thing and roll over in your hands or the palms to don't get fingerprints and get all the marks off. I'm using a cookie cutter of the heart because it's always an easy way to make the top face of Mickey. And then I'm not even using the same size I need. I'm just making that little V on the top. And now with my hand, I'm going to um, elongate and put it in the shape and the size I need. I try to make that clay uh, thin as possible, but not too thin because you don't want to be seeing the black uh, under but thin enough then it's not gonna look like you put on top of the black so if your black is still a little wet you can just gentle go pushing down your um, light skin clay and then you're gonna be able to make them mix together and cut the excess on the bottom off because we don't need that now I made a roll with my two fingers, I'm going to roll up and down, up and down. And you're going to see then you have the two cheeks and where the nose are going to be. I have tons of videos making Mickey Mouse then show this process very um, with detail and very um, full, like long. <laughs> so get a coffee or something. But I'm cutting the sides just to make it a little smaller. But I was talking about the videos because you guys can watch there too. Um, this one, he doesn't have a mouth because he's sleeping and it's not straight. So if you want to make Mickey, the other videos will be easier for you to get this one. the This part of the face of Mickey. The cheeks, the nose, and the mouth. Then it's the hardest part for who is starting to make. But it, it, this one, I'm making very thick on the nose and the cheeks is smaller because because you, they, he's gonna be sitting on like lying down on his face, so you don't want it to have extra clay. So uh, you see, then the bottom part is straight, and then the other side I went up to the face to give even more impression than he's squishing his face on his arm. And now we're gonna put a toothpick on the body and put the face on the place. So you can see he's squished there, so his face is not perfect if he was looking straight forward to you. So we have the back, the top, and the front for you guys to see. Now we make two circles, flatten out for the ears. And that we're going to put the phone. I, put, I paint silver on the dial numbers. Um, I'm cutting a, a little bit of a, like a wire, a flower wire, just to make the cord of the phone. Um, do you find anything else that could be a little bit softer or malleable than it could close the phone or not? But um, I thought that this is fine because I'm not going to touch it. But if you want to, you can try to find something more softer, I think. Um, and then I'm using crazy glue to glue the phone together. And we're going to put it on the table. 
I'm cutting little papers and switch them up till you fill out trash can. And I'm gonna glue on the side on the floor next to him. I'm putting the tail on his little booty. And you can put up or down. You taste, cut a little paper, put on his tray so he has a lot of work. And I made two tiny skinny snakes in black to give even more impression than he has his eyes closed. But you can use a pen, um, Sharpie, anything is easier for you. A little ball for the nose. And he is almost done. I decided to make a little um, sign. So I just opened a pencil uh, clipper, a like paper clip, and used that with a little piece of foam and decided just to print, you know, a close and open sign. And I'm just going over to make some coffee. And he is done. It's super cute, works. Everybody talks about it here at my um, craft room. Everybody wants to know where I bought it and ask actually a disney collector piece then i saw on ebay for sometimes for three hundred dollars four hundred dollars because it's super old and they don't have to sell anymore so we can make it and then we just spend max 10 bucks to do this thank you so much guys for watching happy mother's day for all the moms out there and be safe in this quarantine and i talk to you in my next video bye guys